Bob is finally out of Nigeria peacefully and quietly. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please do well to subscribe to the channel. And if you're my returning subscriber, thank you for always being here. Kiss kiss. Love you. So guys, Bob finally put out this post about five hours ago on his IG, you know, status. And this is what he said. He said, see you soon, Nigeria. Now, you guys know I made a post the other day talking about how the EFCC decided to bar Bob right inside the plane when he was out. He was trying to like jack back out of Nigeria to the UK. Now, I blame Bob for always talking like I feel Bob talks too much. That is, in Nigeria, there is this culture we have before you you make it in life you don't tell your your your, your enemies because you see there are village people following you you don't have to announce your testimony when you don't have your testimony in your hand you get the point so i blame bob that how come you are jackpotting out of the country and you already posted on your instagram you know story that oh i'm leaving nigeria soon and all that <laughs> So guess what? Bob actually learned because after EFCC dragged him and all that, now they finally released him. And now Bob has finally reached the UK. And guess what? He said, see you soon, Nigeria. Meaning that he's no longer in Nigeria. He's right now in the UK. For him to say, see you soon, Nigeria. So Bob is actually learning. He's what? Actually learning. And I give him kudos for that. So this is Bob saying this girl bought first class tickets three times. That's over 30 million naira. Raise bar for this girl. <laughs> Bob, number one, we don't know whether you're still a man or you are a girl. Because the last time we checked, when you were about to you know go to jail that time in court, you said you are a man. But anyway, let's just accept you as what? As a woman. Now, according to Bob, he bought first class ticket three times. We'll get to that. But first, let's talk about this. He said, that passport disfigured my picture. <laughs> Bob, the best for Nigeria, he the best for Nigeria because as it is so, when Bob got to the UK, he was like, what rubbish is all this? But you know now, to show that he really traveled, that's where people do it, you know, for the Instagram, you know, for the grams. They'll put the passport, they'll put, you know, one or two things, you know, that's what Bob did. And he said that the passport disfigured his picture. And I will not blame Bob. Who will not be angry at Nigeria? Why is Nigeria victimizing him? Why is Nigeria doing this to him? Why won't very dark man leave him alone? Bob don't verse. In fact, right now, when Bob wishes he's not even a Nigerian, he wish he was even a Ghanaian or maybe a Kenyan because he don't tire for the way that they treat him. <laughs> so Bob said that particular passport disfigured the picture he put out. Maybe he would have loved to be holding, you know, a red card. Maybe that's why you would have, instead of that green card of a thing, you know, it's, it's just mad at Nigeria. And you're not going to blame Bob. But one thing I think Bob really did that I appreciate is the fact that this time, he did not come and expose the fact that he's about to jackpot. Like the last time he did on his story, oh, I'm leaving Nigeria, and then they still go bring her out from plane. This time, Bob calmed down, planned his strategy well. When they released him finally, he traveled, and now he's saying, see you soon, Nigeria. Now, this is not Bob jackpotting fully. He just wants to go and rest, take care of his fine skin. Because, you know, the last time people saw that the EFCC, they, they rough handled him. They rough handled the guy. Mm? The skin started having blisters. And you guys know that Bob is not that kind of person. Mm? He's a woman she. He's a she woman. He doesn't like all those kind of things. So Bob has gone out to take care of his body, his mental health. So he's on a holiday, okay? It's Bob went there for holiday. He went there to, you know, calm himself. You know, even our president once in a while, you know, goes out to, you know, take a little bit of fresh hair. So you're not going to blame Bob. He's a fresh man, no woman. It's, she's a fresh woman, you know. He wants to go and, you know, take care of her skin and then come back and look radiant, you know. A little bit of fresh air without the presence of a very dark man. Hmm, it's going to be good for Bob. Bob don't want to breathe any fresh air. Eh? The very dark man too is breathing. He doesn't want to breathe it at all. The thing they stress her. So right now, Bob has finally gone, you know, to stay away from people like very dark man, EFCC, and House of Rep. But anyway, guys, I thank God for Bob that this time he kept his mouth shut. So, guys, what did you learn in this video? Like, what did you learn? This me, oh, me, I learned in this old Bob situation that there are certain things you want to do in life. Keep short until when it's ripe. Then you bring it up. Bah! 
You get the point. It's not everything you go and tell people because right now you don't even know who like you. You don't even know who don't like you. See Bob now. The last time he posted that he was jackpying, even inside the plane, somebody was saying, "Oh, look at somebody. Look at one of us inside the plane. Oh wow, Bob is with us inside the plane. Two pictures and all that." Are you so sure that it's not that person that even you know put Bob out? But the thing is that before the person even posted that thing, Bob too has posted on his own Instagram story. So we don't even know who did it. But the thing is that what if now person will be Bob friend will see that Bob post, will not say Bob is on his way out of the country and went and reported him. So in this life, whatever you are doing, it's really concerning something like this, something good, good news surrounding your life. Allow your good news to ripe before you start sharing testimonies. Some of you will think, okay, church now, I can go and tell the church that I just applied for a job in oil company. The job is going to call me soon. They said they are going to call me soon. Do you have to go and do that kind of testimony? Hmm? Did they ask you, why don't you wait until the job finally calls you, the company calls you and you got the job? And then you can come and complete the, you know, the testimony perfectly. These are the reasons why some people, you know, they go fast. Some of these things won't be juju. Like this bubble will not be juju. You know, sometimes people say, oh, this is not juju. This one is not manipulation. Eh, eh, some things are not manipulation. Some things when I carry on my arm, put on by myself. See this bob owner, he announced his, his jackpa plans even before time. And they went and grabbed him from, from the plane. My question is, now when ESC is going to arrest them, what and what were they planning to do to him? If people did not have anything against Bob, why did you go and embarrass the guy like that? Why? Now, at the end, we know even reached two days, you have released him again. Now he's out of the country again. Why are people embarrassing him? I will not blame Bob for not trying to, you know, um, stay in this country and be breathing any fresh air with EFCC and uh, a very dark man right now. I know that he's tired of these people, yes. But you see, very dark man is just doing his own part. Very dark man wouldn't have just haunted Bob if Bob did not do a bad thing. He told Bob, pay this guy money. He refused. Very dark man said, I have one or two things to expose. So pay this guy. He still refused. And when Vedak Man wants to expose, then after they quickly pay the guy. When he say Vedak Man's mind is already made up. Vedak Man is trying his best. He's trying to make sure that he's fight corruption in this country, which all of us love. You get the point. As long as he's going to be fighting in the right way. So, Bob, I just hope that Bob has learned. And if I was Bob too, if I have the money, I will fly out and go and have fun. Now, let's come back to Bob saying that he spent 30 million paying for first class ticket up to three times. That is. I don't know, all I know is that it's two times. I be the one when they go send my brother where they hold and that one send a first class if you enter, but that one not by road now. But why are you counting that one? Then plus one where they come take arrest you again, where you say you know rich go, that one another one. Then plus this third one now, where you don't finally go. Who should come you pay third class uh, first class three times? Bob, sometimes your story self nearly too clear, but we no care. You get as long as you have gone to go and rest. Bye bye to you, Bob. See you soon, too. Anyway, guys, what do you think under the comment section concerning this video? Do you think Bob keeping his mouth quiet is the best option? Bye.